Hello everyone and welcome to the Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy and every day, Monday through Friday, we go through the latest news in housing, real estate, and the mortgage market. Today is Wednesday, May 4th, big, big day. We jump in the articles that are going to be more eccentric to the Fed and how they are raising rates and what they say after the fact in their news conference, as well as how is that going to affect the mortgage market? So let's jump in the first article here. First one's from CNBC, and of course, Fed raises rates by half a percent, uh, the biggest rate hike in two decades to fight inflation. We knew that this was gonna happen. It was a 99% chance of it hitting, you know, a 50% basis points, very little to hit anything less or more, but this is kind of unprecedented. It's been a long time, uh, almost 20 years since they've done this and they've really never done back-to-back 50-point raises. So I think that sooner or later today, we're gonna to find out that they're going to admit some mistakes that they should have been raising it sooner, and now they're going to have to balance that tightrope between inflation growing and recession looming. So we're gonna see how they're gonna deal with it. The news conference is coming up here in about 10, 15 minutes, and it's going to really affect the market in which way mortgage rates are gonna go. They're gonna give guidance on the future rate hikes or the future they see in the market itself. Next article here is also from CNBC. This is Diana Orlick, and she's saying weekly mortgage demand rises for the first time since March amid brief rate drop. Now it just dropped very briefly, but I think that people are now kind of getting used to all the issues that we're having here with the mortgage rates going up. It's just that shock value hit for the first couple months this year, and now people are looking into it and saying, okay, rates are gonna be high. I still wanna have a fixed rate that I, that I live in a house with, and it's not gonna be through you know, uh, renting. I don't want it to rent because rent's not gonna fix it for me. It's gonna go up as time goes up, as my contract gets is up. I still wanna get into you know, a house, and that's where I think that shock value is already over with. Also, we're starting to see you know, different types of loan programs, including adjustable programs, hit the market where they're lowering rates for a certain amount of time, maybe one, two, three, four years. With the expected recession coming, recessions typically are very pro-housing market, meaning that we typically see rates go down and we're typically seeing the housing market at least stay stable or bump up a little bit in sales. So traditionally, that's what's happened. I think people are seeing that. They're looking and now adjusting you know, their strategy on purchasing a home, and, and it's, it's been very good. That's why, of course, we're seeing you know, on this particular article, first weekly demand rises in about, about six to eight weeks. Next article here is from Market Watch. says Fed lifts interest rates by half a point. Another one sets June launch for sell-off of nine trillion bond stockpile. So they also came out and said that in June they're going to begin selling off all the the treasuries that they had on on just treasury bonds as well as some mortgage-backed securities. They're going to start selling it off and they're going to sell it off slowly. Prior to that, they were saying they were gonna just shoot out $95 billion a month to sell off those. Now they're saying we're gonna ease into it. I think they feel that if they put it all together and they, sh- they shoot out 95 billion and try to sell it off, you're gonna have a complete sell off on the bond market and you're gonna, you're gonna really crush interest rates. So I think that they're now thinking it through a little bit more, cooler heads are prevailing and we're gonna go ease into this. Now I still feel that even easing into it might hurt the market you know, in the near term, but overall they, they needed to do this a little while ago and now they're coming late to the party and now they're on that, again, tightrope of recession. Next article here is Dow rises after Fed decision, oil surges, lift drops. This is just a over, overview of the market itself. The Dow did rise. They did ex- anticipate you know, 50 basis points, they already put that in the market. So when it came out, everyone had a kind of a sigh of relief that they weren't gonna do something more aggressive. They've had aggressive tones now for the past two months, but it just wasn't as aggressive as, as some people had thought. So a, a lot of people were, a, you know, a lot of traders were a lot more relieved. But again, the real, you know, meat and potatoes of this is gonna be what they say at a news conference that, Jay, that uh, Powell is going to have afterwards giving guidance for the future of what's going to happen with the the rate hikes as well as where he sees recession at and unemployment rate and then of course the the 
final article here is uh, from Black Knight. We're looking at rates and on the eve here of the Fed decision, we're seeing rates kind of flat here. We're looking at conforming, you know, conventional 5.52. We're looking at 15 year, you know, 30 year jumbo again is over 5%. 30 year fixed rate is pretty much flat FHA at, at 5.378. Well, guys, if you appreciate what we're talking about, hit the like button here. Otherwise, if you hit the subscribe button, we will then, and the notify notification button, we will notify you when we drop these five to 10 minute little real estate news dailies here. And you'll be able to be informed about real estate on the back end in just, a, just for a few minutes every single day, Monday through Friday. Otherwise, you have a fantastic day. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to reporting on how the market reacted to what Fed Chairman Powell, the Fed Chairman Powell said and how it, how we're looking at the future of the second half of 2022. You take care.